Hey guys, hi everyone, and um, now that it's getting warm, it's getting uh, really sunny outside, the summer is coming, it's a good time to talk about um, what things you might want to have uh, for your child for days like that. And um, I'm going to share with you a few things that I found very useful and really very necessary. Number one. Uh, no brainer is a um, lotions uh, that protect you from um, UV light, really your uh, sunscreen um, product, right? We all know that kids they have very sensitive skin, so we usually are looking for something that is uh, safe, that has um, more organic ingredients and uh, what I found out is that usually uh, those type of uh, lotions are very hard to apply evenly and they unfortunately usually leave not always some of them they leave um, the white uh, residue so you really you end up looking like uh, you're all very white so um, maybe hint number one, when you buy something like that, if there is a tester, please do test it just to get an idea how easily you can apply them. And then um, it has to be quick because with kids running around, they don't want to wait and stand till you've done your thing. Uh, they don't do that. And then if, uh, if you leave those uh, white marks, sand will stick to it, dirt will stick to it, to whatever uh, they used to play it's gonna stick to it and then once you need to reapply the lotion two hours later it's really gonna be a headache. So uh, do test what you buy or number two consider getting something that's called um, sunscreen powder. Um, that's not a specifically child's product, uh, it's not child's line it is something that I've been using uh, for a few years. It's a my face uh, sunblock powder. It's guys, look how easy it is to apply. You can see powder coming out of it, so you really can cover your whole body. And especially that kids, they're small. Let's say you know mine is going to be two years old in July. It's not going to take uh, much to cover his whole body. It's going to be super fast. It's not gonna be sticky. It has a really good. Uh, it has really good ingredients. Uh, it doesn't have the the bad stuff that we don't want in our children, right? Uh, so something to consider is a powder form uh, sunblock, something like that. Now number two is the swimming stuff. The bottoms. Uh, I I didn't love the uh, disposable ones. It is very comfortable though, right? So we just trash it and we forget about it. We don't have to wash it and dry it and things like that. Now with them, it's still that the gel that's inside, it, it still like expands and becomes heavy. It doesn't look super um, comfortable um, after like an hour or so. And then if you're on the beach the whole day uh, and you have to be changing every hour, it might be a little bit pricey. Um, it, it, it wasn't the best match for me. So I did choose something like that, that um, it's actually one size, um, but you, there are like a buttons that makes it um, smaller or bigger. So it really grows with your child, right? So it looks like that. And then maybe next year or by the end of the summer, uh, you make it bigger. It's really easy to wash. Uh, they dry very fast. I loved it. It looked very comfy and now I'm using it as potty training underwear. Number three is the uh, UV tops. And um, I do like to size up my baby woke up so I'm gonna have an assistant now for the rest of my video. So as I was saying, I do like to size up because it's going to be uh, much easier to take it off compared to something that fits um, really well. 
uh, but once it's wet, it's gonna be pain um, in the butt to take it off. So that was number three. Uh, number four, uh, we're gonna talk about um, hats. Uh, moms, dads, whoever is watching the child, they hate uh, having anything on their heads, so they're gonna take it off once they're good with their hands. Now you do want to buy something that has those beautiful magical things so you can tie it up and it stays on the hat longer, longer. I do like, uh, I do like that it has this, uh, look like I'm here, I do like that it has this uh, thing in the back, right, so it protects the neck. You tie it up and this one you can adjust. I like that also it's uh, the material is very uh, thin so it's gonna dry up really uh, fast which is awesome. Now um, swimming stuff uh, number five. So that's how it looks like uh, once it's uh, established right open and established. Uh, I do like that once uh, you no longer need, it's um, very small, it comes in this bag, you can wear it over the shoulder. It's very easy to um, open it, set it up once you no longer need it, uh, you can release the uh, air really, really fast. So it's very stable and uh, I do like this canopy thing that you can take off or use it when you need it. It's really great protection for the sun. We loved it. We're going to use it again this year. Now number six is the uh, this. UV slash mosquito net. It's awesome for keeping bugs and mosquitoes at night because summer days comes with bugs and mosquitoes. And then also uh, if you're taking a walk in the stroller with a car seat, whichever the case is, um, it, it really helps uh, protecting um, your child from uh, UV light. And it doesn't really affect the way the child sees the, the world from inside of the stroller, you know, through that net. It doesn't block the, the vision. Now, uh, speaking of mosquito net, uh, I do want to talk about um, stickers. Now, um, I don't love the idea of spraying uh, anything on the child, whether it has really um, good ingredients or it doesn't, because if it gets on arms, you know, on hands, then when once children, they touch their face, they put in the mouth, eyes, uh, it's just gonna be a disaster. So a sticker is a very, very good option. Uh, you put it somewhere where the child doesn't see, so it doesn't bother them, so they're not, they're uh, less likely to take it off. So number eight, number eight is a water table, something like that. I do think it's a great idea. We um, saw something like that on um, my friend's uh, birthday. My son loved it. He spent there the whole time. It's really awesome. It has all those tubes and they love seeing water um, moving from here to there, things like that. So uh, for the times that I don't have one, I'm gonna order one. I'm just using uh, our regular uh, bathtub that we use to bathe the child. And um, toys. This is really spray bottle. So uh, he already wants it. Uh, it's great for playing outside. Uh, the only thing what I do recommend is put uh, drink drinkable water inside because not only they love spraying it um, outside, they love spraying it uh, on them, especially in the mouth. So they drink a lot of water while playing with those spray bottles, but they're great. Now something like that, it's uh, both for uh, <laughs> Sand and water, they love uh, watching it swirl and spin. Uh, awesome toy, sometimes he showers with that. Uh, it's really like bingo. 
Now I do want to um, say that I like, you know, like boats and these kind of uh, things uh, that they can uh, build um, as a pyramid or it has different um, holes and kids, they love watching how the water is coming out from them. And the last thing, yeah, good stuff. And the last thing I want to talk about is sandbox. Uh, most kids they do love playing with sand or you can really fill it up with anything you want the first time we got it before we had bought sand we uh, filled it up with water and he spent there like an hour it was really awesome so uh, this is my uh, must-have list for the summer for hot sunny days please guys share let me know what you think and if there is something that uh, you have and you find it awesome using for your kids let us know so we can share it with everyone thanks for watching uh, enjoy the summer bye bye